basically the kitchen's gonna be hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Things are heating up Woo, in the kitchen. Well, hello and welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and I'm a designer in the Atlanta area. And one of the things that I love to do is to follow kitchen trends. It's one of the spaces that I absolutely love to renovate. I really love to stay on top of what's going on and to really understand what is on trend, what's going in, what's going out, because of course my clients don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on a kitchen that's gonna go out of style you know, like next month or next year. This is something for my job that I really love to keep an eye on. And of course, it's also fun to see what's going on. Some of the ideas today won't even require a hammer or even a screwdriver, maybe a paintbrush though. But we'll get into that in just a minute. Make sure you hit subscribe before we go too far in the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you're like me. And even if you are doing a kitchen renovation, still love to see what's on trend with kitchens. Uh, let me know also down in the comments which of these trends you're seeing in your area, or maybe if there's a trend that's happening around you that I don't mention today because you guys are coming from all over the world and I love hearing about what you are seeing your friends and your neighbors doing in your area. So cheers you guys, let's jump into kitchen trends. All right, well, 2023 is shaping up to be a pretty wild one already because you're gonna see some pretty significant changes in kitchen design, things that people are doing that we really haven't seen them doing so much. And I think it's really exciting, actually. Uh, one of the first things that I've noticed a lot of is that there's a lot more people doing open shelving, but we're not doing open shelving above the cabinets the way we were doing before, a lot of people are opting to take down those upper open shelves. Some people are still doing it, it's not completely gone, so don't freak out if you've got it. You don't have to get rid of it if you like it. But I think what you're going to start seeing is that that open shelving is gonna be done in different ways. So you're gonna start seeing open shelving, just literally cabinets that are open, nice big bookshelf style cabinets that are open. Uh, you're also gonna see open shelving on islands. We actually did this trend ourselves in the Otis Building Project. We actually had some open shelving on the island. Uh, that's becoming very popular, but there's also another way in which we're seeing this, and that is that people are actually doing like an actual shelf underneath the countertop. I mean, wow, I know, it's pretty out there, but it is kind of cool, and I think it's really inspiring. And even if you aren't interested in modern design, it might surprise you that this is still on trend, even with traditional kitchens. These trends that we're gonna be talking about today are not just for modern or traditional kitchens. A lot of these ideas really translate into all different styles. So if you're seeing the pictures that I'm popping up, a lot of them are gonna be the latest and greatest kitchen companies and what they're doing, but they also translate to a traditional kitchen as well. So I think that open shelving being right underneath that countertop, that's pretty cool. It feels a little bit retro in a way to me, but I like it. I think it's kind of fun. I can imagine it'd be a little bit of a dusting nightmare. What do you guys think? <laughs> Does that is that one that you would be open to? Either way, I do think that we are going to continue to see open shelving, but it's gonna be translated in new ways because that's kind of how trends are. Like once everybody's doing it, then everyone's looking for something that maybe someone hasn't been doing and they're looking for something new. And that's why I think open shelving is gonna be in, but it's gonna be in in a completely different way. One of the biggest trends in 2023 is also going to be luxury touches. Luxury touches come in all different shapes and sizes. It could be upgrading your handles. It could be upgrading your faucet. These are things that you can do to your existing kitchen. So this is what I love is that kitchen trends don't mean that you have to rip every single thing out of your kitchen. It could also mean upgrading what you already have. Another great way to upgrade your kitchen is to actually just change out your lighting. That's a really easy fix that could immediately upgrade your kitchen. But even if your style is really modern and clean and minimal, or it's on the opposite end of the spectrum and it's super traditional, you can add a luxury feel by adding some beautiful pendant lighting, maybe some wall sconces, There's a, maybe even a chandelier, depending on your kitchen. There's a lot of different ways that you can add lighting and add just that little, little golden touch maybe, and it doesn't even have to be in gold. It's really just a luxury feel. So you'll see those luxury touches also coming in materials. We'll get into more of that in just a minute. For now, one of my favorite upgrades that I've made to my kitchen, okay, I, I redid my kitchen, has it been three years since I did my kitchen? And there's one thing that I did not upgrade when I did my kitchen, and I've just done it more recently, and it made a huge difference, and that is I have taken, <laughs> This is re 
real, guys, okay? I know people see my kitchen, it looks really minimal, and they're like, I don't think she cooks in there. That is the most popular thing I hear when I post pictures of my kitchen. I actually use my kitchen. As you can see, my pots have great amount of use to them. I have had this for many years. There's been a lot of popcorn and stews and uh, couscous and all sorts of things. We, we bought it in Morocco and it has been abused. Uh, we have just, yeah, it was time guys. It was time to upgrade this puppy. And so I am very thankful because our video sponsor for today has helped me out on this one. Our video sponsor is Caraway and oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm like, ah! <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, this has completely changed our lives. Caraway has created the most aesthetically pleasing pots and pans you will ever find. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. They come in all different colors so you can match them to your personal style and your personal color palette. Of course, I personally recommend the black, but they do have some other really cute colors. So you gotta check them out. I went with the black and the gold because Look at it, it's gorgeous. These are not only beautiful, because of course as a, as a designer, I want my pots and pans to not look like the old ones. <laughs> I want them to be pretty, something I feel really proud of, but they're also non-toxic, they're non-stick, they are incredible. You will not believe the difference it has made cooking with these. They cook more evenly, uh, they're really easy to clean, which is really important because when they're not easy to clean, they end up looking like that. <laughs> these are amazing. I'm so appreciative of that nonstick and the fact that it is non-toxic. Those were things that were really important to me. But one of the other things that's really cool about Caraway is that they also have an organizational system. And it's just such an easy upgrade that you can make that not only makes your food taste better and makes sure that you're not eating any kind of gross chemicals from the nonstick, but also it's just aesthetically pleasing. And I think it just takes your whole game up. And so yeah, I have been using these and I just absolutely adore them. I think that you will too. So they have very kindly given me a discount code because I think you guys are gonna want these too, right? This is an easy upgrade that we can all make and really just feel like we have a new and fresh kitchen. So discount code. Shop my code Valentina10 to get 10% off Caraway site-wide before it expires. 10% off is a huge savings. Guys, you're gonna absolutely love these. Check out the website, use my link and my code. I'm gonna have everything down below in the show notes for you. So that is a fun upgrade that we can all make in our kitchen. Let's talk about some other upgrades that we're seeing in kitchen trends and what's kind of going on. Because when we start doing open shelving, the natural inclination is that, okay, so for those of you who are like myself and have done open shelving, you might find that the thing that everyone said would be the case with open shelving is actually true. And that is that open shelving gets very dusty. It's just true. Uh, when we had open shelving in our kitchen, I found that I didn't wanna even drink out of a glass because it's just been sitting there for a few days. Even if it's just been a few days, I, I felt like I constantly had to clean things before I used them because it's open to all the elements. And this is why I think we're seeing that glass cabinetry is coming back. Because glass front, <laughs> not the actual, I mean, glass cabinets would be amazing, but maybe a little delicate. Glass front cabinets are what we're really gonna be seeing. And I think the reason why is because a lot of us are tired of dusting all of our stuff. It's just a little much. And so if you end up with stuff that's just sitting there, then it's pretty, but you have to still get it down and clean it. And it's kind of a lot of work. And if you have a lot of stuff like I do and your cabinets are really full, some of you are gonna be like, there's no way I would ever do glass cabinets. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it either. Personally, personally, I think seeing all my stuff would make me nuts. And I like to, to own quite a few plates. I like to switch things up a lot. And so I don't know if I'm neat and tidy enough for this one. But I do see why it's coming back into style and why you're start, starting to see this, the whole spectrum of styles bringing glass front cabinetry back. It's because it puts it behind glass. It still gives you the feeling that it's open but you're not gonna dust everything constantly. I'm really curious to hear if you guys love this one or not. If you're like, no, let's just hide it all. <laughs> Why even bother? Let me know. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of glass front cabinets. Wood cabinets, this trend is finally starting to catch up. It was about six years ago when we first moved back to the US from when we were living in Copenhagen. 
I was saying wood cabinets are gonna be coming back in and I'm not joking. People literally wrote me like hate messages. I was like, ugh. <laughs> That's really strong for cabinetry here. Uh, but some people just got really upset. They were like, I will never, ever put wood cabinets in my house again. And I was like, why? It's so pretty. But a few years ago, people just were just not ready for it. And you're starting to see now that the trend is really starting to catch up. And it's not just the early adopters who want it, but it's right there in the middle of mainstream where a lot of people are really starting to put in wood cabinets. Now, they're not the wood cabinets from the 90s. So if you've got those, I'm so sorry. It's probably not gonna look the same as the 90s. A lot of the 90s tones were either really, really red and orange or yellow. Those aren't the tones that we're really looking for in wood. We're looking for something that has a, a more grayish undertone, a more brownish, brown undertone. Those are the, the woods that we're really looking at. And you can definitely do that on the modern side of things, but even if you have a more traditional uh, kitchen, a lot of people are mixing, right? That's been going on for a little while where they're mixing painted with wood. I think you're gonna start seeing that wood is the hero material in the kitchen, and I, I really like it. I think it's beautiful. It's something that I'm definitely considering for my own kitchen. Not that I'm renovating it, but I've definitely thought about it because I'm like, oh, I would love to have the wood cabinets. Personally, I would be mixing the wood cabinets maybe with a, a different material on the island. I literally cannot stop pinning pictures of marble islands. I think we're gonna start seeing that the island materials are really gonna start changing rather than painted cabinets in a wood island, we're gonna see wood cabinets and maybe a marble island. Mm, I know, it's so yummy! Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, they come in lots of different shapes too. So you could just do like basically a big block, which is like so chic. Uh, I love it, absolutely love it. Or you could also have seating still with marble materials. There are so many different ways that you could mix this one up. It, it's a lot of fun, and I think that the island is going to see a lot of transitions. Another way you're gonna start seeing the island changing is with another trend, which is the extended island. Like We've already been seeing huge islands. But what I think you're gonna start seeing is that people are a little bit bored with one vast material going all the way through the middle of the, of the kitchen. So instead, what you're gonna see is a lot more mixed materials where you might have a marble, and maybe you'll have a wood, maybe you'll have something cantilever. Oh, I know, very pretty. Like we talked about before with maybe some open shelving or a bookshelf built into it, you're gonna be start seeing these islands really just stretching, materials changing. You're gonna see people getting super duper creative with the island itself. I think you'll also see uh, marble, and um, that's an amazing material. You'll also see a mix of colors with those, so you'll have some dark, you'll have a lot more creamy tones rather than the super white. Uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff going on with the island. I think it's really exciting. You guys can let me know what you think of each of these trends. Let's take a second and chat about the backsplash because if we're saying that we're not gonna want as much open shelving, what's going up on the walls? Well, if you're on the modern side, you're gonna still see a lot of open space and a lot of people are going to continue to use marble for the entire wall. Not just the backsplash, not just a piece, I did that. Mine is just the, the quartz that I did, just a little bit of a backsplash, but what you're really gonna start seeing is just full sheets of marble or marble type materials. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna see is a lot of lime wash, which I think is really interesting. I, I love it, I love looking at it in other people's homes. I haven't made that transition myself. I'm definitely open to it, but I do think that it is a very interesting material. And they say that it's actually really good. It's really a natural material and it's breathable. It's really good for your home. It's good for an area with heat and, you know, damp and all that kind of stuff. Like it's actually really good for your kitchen to have the lime wash. But I do think it has so much texture and I think that's why people are kind of moving towards that because they're, they're trying to warm the kitchen design up because if you just have a flat painted cabinet, then the wall itself just looks, it just still feels a little bit stark. So I am 100% open to it. I would love to know what you guys think. If you love this trend, I, I could see doing it for sure. I think it can be very modern, but then again, you could also do it in a really traditional, like 
old cottage kind of feel as well. So lots of different ways to use it. It's really interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Let's talk about color for just a minute because there's a couple things we have to talk about. First of all, the overall palette. I think that's really important to think about the overall palette of the kitchen. That's where I think you're gonna see the biggest shift. I think the biggest, the biggest shift that's happening right now in kitchen design is that we're seeing things with more of a brown undertone rather than stark whites those bluish grays that were really popular for a really long time, things are really shifting to a much warmer kitchen. So not only will the wall color start to be warmer, you're gonna see more beige tones, more creamy whites. Uh, if you haven't watched my color video for 2023, I, I've got a couple videos out actually about what's trending and my personal palette. Look at my personal palette, you're gonna see a lot of warm whites topes and sort of beige undertones that will really give you a guide to where the colors are really moving they're just going to be a little bit softer a little bit more muted and i think that they go really well with warm stone as well whether you're doing a granite or you're doing marble or you're doing even a you could even doing a laminate <laughs> material uh but or quartz of course because quartz is amazing as well all those materials are really going to start warming up and i think the kitchen basically the kitchen's going to be hot 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 <laughs> things are heating up Ooh, in the kitchen, <laughs> right? They're warming up. You're gonna see it in the stone. You're gonna see it in the cabinetry. You're even gonna see it in just the finishes in the space and even just things that you add in, the decor that goes into it. Everything is just really becoming warmer and everything has more of a brown undertone. So that translates to the stone that you're using. It translates to the wall color. It'll also translate to the floors as well, right? That's a big transition that the floors are no longer cool tone wood but you're gonna see really warm wood tones you're also gonna see limestone and warm tumbled stone that will go into the kitchens it's gonna be a lot warmer everything's just gonna be warmer, and I think that's really cool I really like it I think it's really homey and yet it can be very modern or it could be very traditional and I think that's what's so fun about these trends is that it's across the board all different styles and so it just works I love it. A couple other big trends that you're going to see is that the hood is basically disappearing. I think that's really interesting because we were doing statement hoods for a really long time and you're always going to have people who just have always dreamed of having a statement hood and that's what they want to center the they want to center the entire kitchen around it. But actually what we're seeing is that you're just going to start seeing those hoods integrated even more. That you just want them to even just be gone. You're gonna see people doing more downdraft. You're also gonna see people doing more minimal style. We've been seeing that style where the hood was really kind of integrated into whatever the material of the wall was, uh, trying to just kind of make it go away. But I think you're gonna see that even more. There's gonna be more trends over the next couple years where the hood just kind of disappears. Maybe it's integrated in, even into the cabinetry and you really just don't even know it's there. So that's a pretty big shift to take the focus off of the hood as the focal point of the kitchen to the focal point is maybe a great wall of cabinetry, maybe it's some great open, open glass shelving. <laughs> maybe it's just really integrated cabinetry and there's not necessarily like a one thing that's really drawing your attention in, but it's an overall feeling of being immersed into this kitchen design. I think it's really interesting. I'm curious to see where that one goes for sure. In addition to that idea, I think another thing you're gonna start seeing is that more appliances are gonna be integrated, more kitchen functions are gonna be integrated into the cabinetry. So whether it's the coffee bar, if it's the ovens, if it's the refrigerator, the dishwasher, basically whatever you can possibly put away is gonna get put away. And kitchens are having a moment where they're gonna be prettier. But when you walk into your kitchen, it's gonna be a prettier place because everything is going to be put away and you're gonna see lots of beautiful cabinetry, gorgeous stone, and a few well-placed accessories rather than just everything all out over the counter and it just being rather than a more homey everyday functional use of the kitchen we're going to start seeing that it's really going to get super pretty and super picture ready <laughs> but it's still going to be completely functional because everything is still there it's just put away one of the questions that you guys always ask when we do a kitchen trends video is what metal am i supposed to be using that can be a little bit confusing because really there's nothing that's really one material that is the thing to use right now. I think we're seeing a lot of mixed 
materials being used. A lot of people were using brass tones for a really long time and we're starting to see a lot more stainless, a lot more silver tones coming back in shiny materials. But I think that some of the brushed nickel is really, really pretty. I think that can be really the way, right? Like what we're talking about is it integration. So you want things to start maybe disappearing a little bit more. But at the same time, I still think that there's gonna be a place for some of that brushed brass, something that has a little bit more of a muted feel to it, uh, that aged brass that never dates that never goes out of style. There's just always something that's gonna be amazing about it. But black is another thing. Matte black, still in for handles, still in for lighting. So I feel like it, we're at this point with kitchens that you get to do whatever you really like and it's gonna be okay. So think about what you really like, what materials really go with the colors you're choosing. If you wanna create contrast, then if you've got a brownish tone wood, some brass will contrast against that some, but black will really stand out. And of course, any kind of silver tone is just gonna kind of disappear. Now, then if you want to have something that feels more integrated, then you know, go with a nickel, it's gonna really blend in. And that's what's so fun is that you can really play with what your dream kitchen is and the space that you really wanna be in. Play with the color on the handles, play with that color with your hinges, with your uh, oven, even your lighting is gonna be dictated by this. So I think it's a lot of fun to figure out what you enjoy and what's gonna look amazing in your design. And interestingly enough, I think you're gonna see actually that a lot of people aren't even gonna be using handles. We're seeing a lot more kitchens coming out that don't have any hardware on them at all. I can't say that I want to go there. I have had a kitchen like that when we lived in Copenhagen and it was actually really convenient to have the little lip on the top and there was no hardware on it and I loved that kitchen. And those glossy type of kitchens have been out right for quite some time but now they're bringing them back in wood tones without handles. So I think it can be really interesting to think about what kind of hardware do you want? What kind of wood tones do you want? Warming things up. It's all really an evolution of style and it's a really fun time to be in kitchen design because people are willing to try things they've never tried before. And there's an openness to ideas and inspiration. And of course, Pinterest is just loaded with lots of ideas and lots of inspiration. It's somewhere that I love to go and pin. So you can check out my Pinterest if you wanna see some of the things that have really jumped out at me. Also check out my Instagram. That's where we post a lot of our own photos, our own projects, our own home, uh, what we're really looking at. I, I love to fill the stories up with project ideas and things that we're actively working on. So you can see lots of ideas for not only your kitchen, but other parts of your home as well. So um, I'm gonna leave a link for all those things down below. And I'm definitely going to leave the link for the caraway pots because I think you guys are going to freak over these. I know I did. <laughs> I still am. I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna leave all those links for you down below. And uh, I think that is all the time we have for today. I am very curious. I am just like, literally just like a fire hose of ideas just sprayed at you. Uh, that was a lot thrown at you at one time. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Do you like the kitchen warming up? Do you like this idea of mixed metals being on trend that you can do whatever you want? Do you like the idea of wood cabinetry, marble being used in new ways? open shelving glass front. Oh, we've gotten a lot of trends that are really, that's a lot to process. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And as I said before, I would love to hear if something is really trending in your area because you guys are from all over the world. So something might be on trend where you are and it might just spark a new trend where we are. So that's always a lot of fun. I can't wait to read all your comments. And for now, I will say goodbye and leave you with another video suggestion. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.